Hello everyone, please like and subscribe my channel. Tell me your favorite book and I can read them for you. You can also listen to me on Spotify and YouTube now. Enjoy and let me know how you like my book. Bye-bye. Title, Peppa Pig's Spooktacular Halloween. Halloween had arrived in Peppa Town. And Peppa Pig and her family were getting ready for a night of spooky fun. They carved pumpkins, decorated the house with cobwebs and bats, and even put up a giant, friendly ghost on the front lawn. Peppa and George were especially excited because they were going trick or treating with their friends, Susie, Sheep, Danny Dog, and Emily Elephant. They had all chosen their costumes and couldn't wait to show them off. Peppa decided to dress as a magical fairy, complete with a glittering wand. George had opted to be a friendly ghost, and he wore a white sheet with two holes for his eyes. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig joined in the fun too, with Mummy Pig as a wicked witch and Daddy Pig as a mummy. As the sun began to set, the children and their families gathered in front of Peppa's house. The full moon cast an eerie glow, and the wind rustled the leaves, setting the perfect Halloween atmosphere. Are you ready, everyone? Peppa asked, her wings fluttering as she held her wand. Ready. They all chimed in. With bags in hand, they set off down the dimly lit streets, knocking on doors and shouting. Trick or treat. They received candy, chocolate, and even some homemade treats as they went from house to house. At one house, they were greeted by Mr. and Mrs. Zebra, who were dressed as pirates. They had transformed their yard into a spooky pirate ship, complete with a treasure chest full of goodies. Next, they visited Madame Gazelle, who was dressed as a vampire, and Mr. Bull, who was a mad scientist they had a cauldron of bubbling witches brew for the children to enjoy. The friends continued their adventure going from house to house and collecting a colorful assortment of treats. They even visited the Potato family, who had turned their home into a haunted house with eerie sounds and creepy decorations. As the night went on, the children's bags filled up with goodies, and they couldn't stop giggling at all the Halloween decorations they encountered. Finally, they reached the last house on the block, Miss Rabbit's house. She had transformed her yard into a spooky graveyard, and she was dressed as a friendly zombie. Trick or treat, the children shouted. Miss Rabbit smiled and handed each of them a special treat, a chocolate bar shaped like a pumpkin. We had a fantastic time. Miss Rabbit, Peppa said. Happy Halloween, everyone, Miss Rabbit replied, with their bags filled to the brim and smiles on their faces. Peppa and her friends headed back home, ready to share their spooky tales and enjoy their delicious Halloween treats. Back at Peppa's house, they gathered around the table and emptied their bags. They traded candies, told ghost stories, and laughed at the fun they had had. It was a Halloween to remember, filled with treats, tricks, and the best of friends. As they drifted off to sleep that night, Peppa and George snuggled in their costumes, dreaming of the next Halloween adventure and all the fun yet to come. Oink, oink, and a spooky good night.